Hi everyone, my name is Corey Weathers. I'm a military spouse and also a military clinical consultant. Basically what that means is I work with service organizations that serve military families and also with military groups to help with leadership development and also on understanding the military culture. As a clinician, I've spent the last 15 to 20 years listening to families and service members on the biggest issues that they have been struggling with over the last 15 years behind confidential doors. Also, with the traveling around that I've done with leadership development and serving military families, I started paying attention a long time ago to some of the shifts and changes that I was seeing in our culture as social media came on the scene, um, as programming changed, as we were in and out of global conflicts. And I've put together what I'm very excited to share with you, which is my newest training on leading generations. Regardless of where you are in your career today, you have some kind of influence on the next generation or perhaps you are in a leadership role where you really are having to look at not only recruiting, but retaining our force. Whether you are a spouse or whether you are a service member, it is a big deal right now to know not just how to lead the next generation, but really understanding the changes that our culture has gone through. Um, we have been through the largest communication shift in 500 years in the last 10 years. That means so much has changed in the way that we distribute information, the way that we get information. It's all at our fingertips right now. And that is affecting everything that we do and how we lead within the military culture, but also what it means to serve families. So regardless of whether you are a spouse or a leader, you are tasked to take care of service members and families. And now that is harder to do than ever. I'm sure that you've noticed Notice that having in-person social events, in-person trainings and education have changed and shifted. It's harder to get people to show up. People ask me all the time, does email still work? Do evites still work? How do we need to train in a new and exciting way? People are tuning out to trainings that are death by PowerPoint, right? Nowadays, if, um, if you can Google it, why do I need to show up for it? And that's making leading challenging. So. This um, training event called Leading Generations is going to be a really, um, really fun and engaging time together where I'm going to take you down the rabbit hole of not just data and information. I'm thrilled to hear a lot of data. Maybe you aren't, which is why this training is going to be fun and interactive. But I'm going to share with you the data and statistics to help you understand what the difference between the generations that are currently in the force and what motivates them, what gets them excited, how they learn, what their work ethic is. But we're also going to talk about the story of our military culture. How did we get to where we are right now, struggling with the things that we are struggling with? I think that the best leaders come from those who are the most informed, who can also take all of this information, curate it with an understanding that helps them lead better with more empathy, with more knowledge and more wisdom. And that's what I'm hoping to do for you in this training. So um, I'm going to leave time for question and answers where you can ask me questions, things like, you know, are Gen Z still on social media? What is their learning style? We're going to talk about how the education, um, the education shift that we're seeing in the civilian culture, how that affects how you educate and train those that you are leading. So there's lots for us to cover. I promise there's gonna be time for question and answer, lots of time for us to engage in dialogue. So it's not gonna be death by PowerPoint. It's not gonna be all about data, but I am going to give you as much as I can to help you succeed as a leader. So I can't wait to spend some time with you. Um, can't wait to hear your questions. Can't wait to really empower you to be a better leader for tomorrow. So I will see you soon. If you've not signed up, sign up soon. Um, and I will see you there.